Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Outlaw Dreadnoughts and to the French Campaign, where it's now June of 1942. The Americans are suffering. They still only have a single heavy cruiser. They are building eight ships, to be fair to them. They're about to be at war with Japan, though, which um, might be a little bit of an issue for them. Uh, and their economy is really suffering. Here is their one heavy cruiser, which is just kind of impotently watching all of these ships invade northern Spain. So we should be able to take northern Spain next turn. Um, we're also pushing in western Germany. We're up to 76% progress there. So hopefully that will go through. Uh, so I'm going to end the turn and see if that is indeed successful. Here we go. Northern Spain has fallen to the French, and the army are now pushing on Western Spain, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we also have a battle over here. The United States has built a destroyer. Okay, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, in terms of shipping, uh, is the fleet from... I'm just going to put the ships back into port just in case they need um, repairs or anything. This is this is the reserve fleet. Send them back to La Spezia. Uh, this must be the Mediterranean fleet. Send them back to Marseille. And this... Yeah, they are the Channel Fleet. So I'm just going to send them back because we, we've still got ships um, repairing, I think. Or all the repairs finished. I think all the repairs are finished. And the refit of the other ships, of the of the uh, kind of older ships, is nearly finished as well. So that is good. So I'm just going to... Get the ships back in port. Oh, there's the heavy cruiser. Get the ships back in port. Get them uh, ready to go again. And I think the army can take both. Yeah, 2% logistics. Um, in which case, I pro should probably just sit here until the army has taken Western Germany and Western Spain. And then we can... We'll need, yeah, three fleets. And we can blockade uh, the US. And then once we've done that, I will accept whatever peace terms they're willing to talk about. Um, however, we've got this convoy to do. Uh, we also have a Serbian Hover-class destroyer. Uh, the Tuareg is a Tonkanoi 1934. Uh, Paul Hamilton, 42. Oh, it's a refit. Interesting. Let's get into it. I mean, in theory, the transports can give me uh, quite a lot of difficulty here. Tuareg only has four guns. The this ship has him only has two. So it's not like we are high on firepower, but we do have all the uh, fifty millimeter, which the game keeps resetting them to fifty one, which is very irritating. I have to make them 55 just to stop it doing that. No sign of the destroyer, but it's smaller than the transports, so uh, may well be a case of, you know, just don't see it. Yep, there it is. S at a dead stop. That's weird. Uh, 
Um, eliminate the destroyer while it's just sat there. I'll do it. Uh, there was talk about there being some form of bug involving ships not moving. This is the first time I've seen it. I also can't target it, apparently. Maybe it's not actually there. Who knows? Oh no, they are targeting it. I just can't select it? Weird. That is a very strange thing going on. Not sure I can hit it either. Oh no, I can hit it. Whoa! That is... Oh my word. <laughs> Talk about... <gasps> Talk about risky shooting. Oh my word. And now my ships have stopped. Um, there are lots of patch notes about them fixing this. But uh, this is the first time I've seen it, so they seem to have made it worse. Um, I guess I just go leave battle. I mean, I'll have sunk a transport. That is very weird. Oh, all sorts of weird things going on. Uh, let me fix that, and I'll be back with you. Or try to. Okay, one uh, quick update to the mod. Later, <laughs> let's try that again. Uh, so, yeah, I just uh, thought, well, as good a time as any. Because uh, with the opt updates, because they're so frequent, if the mod loads, I tend not to worry about it. And to be honest, yesterday I didn't come across this issue. Um, and it was the same version of the mod. But... Um, the uh, yeah, it also let me deploy uh, a little, not a big update, but a little one that I've been working on. Um, so it's now the mod is now up to one point eight. Although that will have been out for quite some time by the time you're watching this video. Uh, if you don't know about it yet, I added the ability to put. Um, Big guns, i.e. bigger than 15 inch, on US battlecruiser hulls from, you know, the 1930s and 40s. They're modern battlecruisers. Because that didn't make any sense to me why they couldn't, given that the Americans historically, anyway, were thinking about putting 16 inch guns on their battlecruisers. So if you want to make a modern version of the Lexingtons before they were turned into carriers, you couldn't do it seems really really weird anyway let's let loose with the 50 mils see this time there's no sign of the enemy destroyer off please although I appreciate the uh, dedication to damaging the American economy maybe this is the uh, Americans trying to sneak some reinforcements in or maybe it's them trying to evac uh, people from Western Germany yeah, Tuareg takes a pretty big hit there I'll swap over to the uh, principal Lester I'm not convinced I can sink the entire convoy anyway. It uh, it's it's hard when you're fighting uh, ships with okay, a hundred and seven mil gun is not particularly big, but the principal over here only has uh, only has um, one oh fives, so. Didn't get the tops off. So we're just going to withdraw. Now, Tuareg has taken quite a lot of hits. Oh, we sunk a few transports. And, more importantly, the game did not crash. So I'll see you on the post battle results screen. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, we harassed. We sunk one, two, three, four, five transports. So a third of the convoy. Uh, the rest got away. Fair enough. Back to the map. Oh my word, please tell me that it <laughs> it wasn't recording. 
<sighs> okay. After action report. Um, the <laughs> Saint Charles here took a couple of torpedoes. Uh, in fact, she took three. The Helena, by the way, if you didn't know this, if you use the hide HUD command, you can always go back to uh, to, a, to the battle escape. Yeah, they um, they took a little bit of damage. Um, yeah, Saint Charles took three torpedoes because I, my theory was I'll go right at them, bow in, and I'll be able to dodge. But I saw them far too late. Um, and I took three, but the Helena was by that time gonna go down. So could have been worse. Right. Stupid. Right, back to the map. Uh, seeing as we're not actively kind of having to worry about the Americans attacking us all over the place, why does Brown bring in the Cosmos for their refit? Um... Uh, yeah, we'll take off all the singles and replace them with some triples. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about the game that resets these to 51s. It's kind of annoying. Uh, right, radar. Sonar. Long lances. Auto two loaders. The new shells, the new propellant. Yeah, pretty low, one percent. Uh, the new, brand new, modern two armor. Spiffy. Uh, no oil three, as yet. Now these are not fast ships, so diesel two. With a battery system, we'll give them a lot of extra endurance. Uh, 45, let's go 20, 10, 15, 10. Something like this. Uh, gun lengths, 50, 45s. Now, with the spare displacement, we're going to slap on maximum bulkheads and one pip of advanced range. Lovely. I'll get those refitting. Welcome back. It's now July of 1943, and we have finally taken Western Spain. Whew. Uh, what? I thought we were attacking Tajikistan. Oh, okay, we are still attacking Tajikistan. Right, cool. Um, uh, we have a little bit of a rebellion. Uh, this is inherited from the Americans. Uh, they have a little bit of a rebellion, but I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the French army will be able to put that down. We might get the little uh, military conflict uh, thing that pops up. Sometimes, if you if you get that, uh, we have as well a very uh, underutilized set of shipyards. So I think some building is worthwhile. Now, the question is: Do I try and make the United States explode, or do I peace out now? And I think my best bet, especially for the longevity of the campaign is to very generously offer the United States a peace treaty. Because... I'm just going to end the turn. They, um, they should have the chance to save themselves. I don't really want anything from them. Um, at this point, we have achieved our war goals. We have booted them out of continents they have no business being on. They are French continents. Thank you very much. 
Um, <laughs> let's see if they accept that. Uh, somebody's building some new ships. Oh, dearie me. It's taken a while. Didn't normally take this long. Um, yes, so we're still building four battleships, so I'm thinking of building uh, a new battle cruiser because uh, I think I'm right in saying that the... Ah, we do get a peace deal. Now, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, good. Oh, I could take Southern Alaska. Sure. <laughs> Seems fair. <laughs> Yoink. Uh, we will do the nice one, because we have absolutely loads of bunny. Um, cool. Oh, Mark V torpedoes. Also cool. Oh, modern submarines. How nice. Except they won't unlock anything. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, yes, we will continue to satisfy the Ottoman desire for more things. Look at that! <laughs> uh, I didn't even know you could take Southern Alaska in a peace deal. That's hilarious. Apparently you can't take Northern Alaska, but you can take Southern Alaska. Hilarious. Um, which is the one with the oil? Neither of them at the moment. Uh, well, uh, we did. It says there's. Oh, we already own Eastern Aleutians. Since when? Or do you just get that with Southern Alaska? Anyway, we've got some oil from uh, from Dutch Harbour, which is nice. Um, <laughs> Jesus, right? American economy. It's looking pretty bad, but they should get a bit of a post post war bounce. Uh, if they do go to war with this again, um, they're going to be relatively easy to take care of. Send a naval invasion force up to northern Alaska, take that, and then just blockade them until they give up. Next war that's likely to kick off is probably with the British. Um, now that is going to be a big one because they have they have stuff everywhere Caribbean South America Africa India obviously uh, they don't own oh they do own Australia because we started in 1890 um, they don't own Canada though um, yeah this that that'll be a global conflict and potentially, it'll be Britain and Japan against me and the Austro-Hungarians. Oh, if that happened, that is going to... That is an enormous conflict. I'm here for it. Well, let's see if that happens. Anyway, I'm going to think about uh, that battle cruiser because... The last battle cruise that we built was the Triumphs. Yes, I remember now. And I think we have one more hull after them. And I was like, oh, I'll make a Triumph 2, but bigger. So I'm going to load into the shipbuilder and have a look at it. Here we go. The experimental battle cruiser. So these are going to be follow-ups uh, to the Triumphs, which were 50,000 tons. Um, these, oh, let's go for 60. That seems reasonable. They can go up to 36 knots, which is very fast. Uh, Triumphs could do 35. So let's target 35. Um... Right, tower. Tower, 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 tower. They're yeah, just linear by the looks of it. 24, I'll just get a light one. And... Yeah, the cheapest light secondary tower. And a funnel. Boom. Now, uh, we have an interesting new technology to try 
gas turbines. <laughs> Perfect for a high speed ship like this. Now, again, I'm looking to use the 400 millimeter gun. Oops, it easy. 400 millimeter, 55 caliber, just as we have on, well, most of our fleet actually, at least the newer stuff. And I think this ship, yep, just like the Triumphs, uh, has a um, has a rear tower that enables you to have a super duper firing pair, a super firing pair aft, not a super duper firing. That would be silly. And then yeah, the Triumph just had a bunch of eighty millimeter guns, did it? No, fifties. Oh, okay, well, same deal here. Actually, no, I don't want that one there. Yeah, just a bunch of 50 millimeter guns. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. Basically, really only there to shoot up transports. Uh, right, modern two, barbet five, anti tort five. Well, wait, hasn't flown on yet, but I haven't put on any armor either. Flash flash chance three percent. Not the worst in the world. Eighty percent. So we've got twenty percent remaining to put on armor. Now the triumphs had many bulkheads, so let's copy that, and we're going to be at two hundred percent armor quality. Very fancy. What kind of armor did these things carry? Uh, or do they carry 450 max? Uh, it would be nice if we could get 500. Can you go 550? You can. So very, well, not very heavily armoured turrets, but up armoured turrets, they should be able to take hits down to about 15,000 metres, which isn't crazy but it's okay um extended belts i think 150 and the extended deck 100 probably be enough in terms of deck pen i think 300 on the main deck should be okay uh conning tower five five zero oh five two five then and main belt five hundred Uh, something like that, and then something like this. One percent over the top. Hmm. It was doing the, the deck, deck layers, wasn't it? Uh, there you go. 
not quite as good. But the Neptune, a 2.3 billion. How much more are they? Yeah, they're, they're almost a billion more than the Triumphs. Thanks to those engines. But, thanks to those engines, we are carrying a hefty amount of protection and some pretty hefty firepower at pretty good speed. Okay, yeah, they're the same speed as the Triumphs, but they are carrying more armor. And, of course, because it's Modern Armor 2, it's, um, it's also going to be better quality. Although the Triumphs, when they come in for a refit, will we'll also have that benefit. But, yeah, another battleship in disguise um, that we can just distribute around. Uh, I think I will build... Well, it's basically going to be our last battlecruiser, so I'm going to have a look at how many we can afford to build. Well, <laughs> my monthly balance is finally no longer in the billions. <laughs> and that is because I am building... 10 of those Neptune class battle cruisers. <laughs> that is a lot of additional firepower for the French fleet. Love it. Uh, I will let the uh, computer decide where they're going to end up. Um, it'll probably put a lot of them into uh, Spain. Hopefully it'll put some into Western Germany um, because those have big ports that haven't been covered. Probably put some in Italy. Uh, maybe one or two over here in China. Anyway, um, it, well, peace reigns once more. And uh, the French economy, well, I'm sure, will be growing again soon. And uh, we just need to keep an eye on the British. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.